what wears black and white and drinks red wine all over? Our first guest, please welcome my friend Diane Keaton. <laughs> about Billy English. I mean, first, oh, I Eilish. I'm sorry, I don't speak English. So <laughs> Billy Eilish, I mean, I cannot tell you. Uh, you know, I grew up in Highland Park where she lives. <laughs> Can you believe that? She, and her brother and she, they live in Highland Park. Yes, yes. I guess it doesn't mean much to you. Not really. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I'd share that. But well, no, it's good that you shared it. Maybe I'll move along on to something else. Okay. okay. No, I mean, what, it, what kind of reaction would you have wanted from that? Let me give you the... From Billie Eilish? No, let me just give you the sentence, I'd and then like you respond her. the way... I'm okay. supposed to respond? I grew up in yes. uh, Highland Park, and yes. that's where Billie Eilish and her brother live. Yes. Did I do that wrong? <laughs> that's the way they reacted. I was giving, I you, a I I was giving you a chance to react the way you thought we should have reacted. Oh, oh yeah, can okay, you give I'll me do another it again. chance? Yeah. I grew up in Highland Park, and that's where Billie Eilish and her brother live in Highland Park. But I don't really care about you. <laughs> well, that's what they did. You showed up to our fundraiser at Gorilla Palooza, and, and I loved it. You had fun, and I'm, I did. I'm glad you had fun. You were there, and you discovered uh, you didn't discover something you liked, but there's something you liked there, and that is Chris Martin. Uh oh, let's not discuss that. <laughs> Oh, God, no, he's, oh, my God. I loved that so much. He was so great that Wasn't night. Wasn't he great? And he was by himself. I mean, he was just, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was not with the band. He was, uh, he was pr uh, just performing by himself. Really sweet. He stepped in for Miley oh, Cyrus because she couldn't make it. Unbelievable. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing a fundraiser for the homeless. You are? I don't, yes, I am. When is that? And I, that's going to be in two months. Two months. All right. And I'm going to try to get him to come. You, and I, perform, it, uh, oh my God, if we could get him. Well, he's on tour right now, but if you oh. can get him, I'm, sh I'm sure if he's around, he would do it. Oh, I love him. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's a, he's a good one. Yeah. I'm, but there's plenty of people who will do that for you because, you know, we need, I'm, I'm glad you're this doing that here. This is the worst situation in Los Angeles. It's, it's history. It is ever. horrible. And I'm very excited about this, and I hope that I... You know, yeah, do well for them. Yeah, if anyone uh, just going downtown, you're just shocked by what's happening. It's yeah. it's really really bad. Um, yes. Let's talk about uh, the book though, because book. this is I w really want to. This is beautifully written, and everyone knows you as a very funny person, and yet you're talking about uh, your brother in this yeah. book and some um, really really hard stories that you're sharing. You're very honest with it. Tell everybody why you wrote it uh, and about your brother. My mother was a, a tremendous, I mean, she wrote reams. I'm, I'm, I, when she died, I inherited her library. And her library was full of all her journals, and there's so many of them. And then when my brother got really ill, and uh, I, I inherited his, you know, and I never read all his poems or seen or looked at all his collages or any of it, really. And so I had this opportunity to go back and and revisit Randy and also my mother's journey through life. So, you know, sometimes you do these things, but I think it's important to definitely, you know, in some way, not necessarily write a book, but document to yourself what you've learned as you've gotten older about, you know, what you could have done better or, or something like that. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I mean, there are things that you, you really couldn't have done better, and he wasn't really, diagnosed properly he and he doesn't know he's not aware that you wrote this book right no he, no he will he, never know no he because he has been diagnosed mm -hmm. with dementia mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh other things mm -hmm. um but it went back and forth with schizophrenia and, uh, and a lot mm -hmm. of different things and that's a really difficult thing too for you because that's obviously nothing you could have done better maybe maybe i could have done better yeah I, don't, I, I understand you're feeling you know that, I mean? but I don't think so. But, but anyway, it, it's just, uh, it, it's just really, 
it's great for me to have the opportunity to revisit my brother and also to, to really, that all families, you know, are different. We're all so different. We all have these really intense emotional experiences with our family. And, I, and it's just, I think, really important to talk about it more. I don't know, you know, within your own family, if you really are, you know, open about your feelings and thoughts, right? Yes, it's a be it's it's a beautiful book, and and it's and uh, you know I, I, I like I said, you know, you just never know about somebody. You see, you know, you in movies, and you see you being hilarious on the show and everything. And there's there's layers and layers to all of us. Yeah. And I and I'm glad that you're showing us this. I think it's great. Well, thank you, yeah. Ellen. I really appreciate. All that. right, Diane, we're gonna uh, take a break, and we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 